everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the confessions of a beauty guru tag and I saw this going kind of around online. Um, I know That's Heart did it and um, Beauty Baby 44 did it and 11th Gorgeous did it and a whole lot of other YouTube gurus did it so I decided that I'm going to do it. Um, and the reason why I'm posting this on... Uh, sorry, my shirt's going weird. The reason why I'm posting this on this channel instead of my vlog channel is because I don't have any subscribers on my vlog channel yet. <laughs> Um, but and also because this is kind of beauty related so I decided to just kind of put it on here and you know what the heck we'll go with it so I'm just gonna go right into the questions I'm gonna have them down below and I tag any of you guys that are watching that um, um, are beauty gurus as well as um, but anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and I'll put all the questions below and I tag you guys and anybody that I put in the description below but probably none of them are gonna see my videos ever but you know we never know Um, well, for me, I spend at least five hours total a week filming, um, you know, some of it's singing, some of it's vlogs, and some of it is actual beauty videos, so it's not five hours total of beauty videos, obviously, it's only post like once or twice a week, um, but... As far as editing goes, editing doesn't really take me that long to be honest. Because I'm such a perfectionist, I like to um, keep all of my videos like really clean and con concise and like just have it all done in like one or two takes. So editing doesn't take me that long, especially since I don't have a very advanced like video editor. I only have like, um, I use Windows Movie Maker. So, but once I get like something that runs iMovie and if I ever save up for like Final Cut Pro, it's probably going to take me longer. Um, I'm a saver. I cannot, under any circumstances, get myself to spend money. Like, one of the funny stories is that there's this pair of owl clip-on earrings at Claire's that I have been wanting for the longest time. Ever since I read, um... The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan, I wanted a pair of owl earrings so that I can be like Annabeth Chase because I'm a dork. But anyway, um, I saw them at Claire's and I really loved them, but at the same time I couldn't for some reason quite make myself spend the money and I don't know why. And then that happened three other times. Well, every single time I go to see those owl earrings, I can't get myself to buy them, so I'm definitely a saver. It takes a lot for me to splurge and when I splurge it's usually on something like really cheap, so... It's easiest for me to film when I'm calm, when I have makeup on, obviously, and then when I'm just more relaxed and I don't feel rushed, like I'm pressed for time. Um, mostly it's like when my parents aren't home and when, or like when my family isn't home, like right now, currently, I'm the only one at home. And so I'm really shy and awkward sometimes. Um, but if I'm in front of a camera and no one's home, then I'll just talk a blue streak, as I'm sure you guys are well aware of. You know, there's always that little, like, creepy green monster of fear in my gut, so it's really stupid. But sometimes I don't wash my face before bed. I know, it's shameful. Like, I'll take off my eye makeup, but I won't, like, remove my foundation and stuff. And it's only when I'm either really lazy or I'm super, super tired. But, yeah, sometimes I don't remove my makeup. Shame on you, Mandy. Um, I don't know. Let me, I'm looking at my quote board right now. Never a failure, always a lesson. It's a Chinese proverb that I read at the library, and I think that's true because people in, in this society say, oh, you failed, you didn't do this perfectly, but it's not really a failure. It's just a lesson that you can learn from it, and I wish the whole world would live by that because I think it would make things a lot easier. That's tough for me because, as you probably know, I'm homeschooled, and so um, my normal day of getting ready, it takes me about 15 minutes tops. I brush my teeth, I brush my hair, I wash my face, I um, hydrogen peroxide my teeth to get them white, um, and I put on lounge pants and a lounge shirt, and I'm good to go. That on Saturdays, Sundays, and sometimes Mondays, if I have somewhere to go, it takes me about 30 minutes total to, um, you know, do my skincare routine, brush my teeth, whiten my teeth. Um, get dressed and do makeup. It takes me about 30 minutes total, so I am kind of a minimalist, as you will see, so it doesn't really take me like an uber, like horrible amount of time. This changes so much, but right now I really, really like um, the audition for X Factor USA by Carly Rose Sonnenclair. 
Um, you know, I just love her voice. It gives me the chills, and she has such a beautiful, like, amazing voice. And she's only 13, which is just so shocking. So I've been really obsessed with that video. I watch it all the time just because I like to hear her voice and try to emulate it. And I fail miserably. That would have to be Mega Twilight Fan 1999, who is one of my subscribers, and I subscribe to her. She is freaking amazing, and I'm so sad that she doesn't have as many subscribers and views as she deserves. She totally needs more. At least I, at least I think so. I am excited to turn 15. I'll be 15 in April and then I can like get a driver's permit but first I have to start learning how to drive. Oh my gosh, so one time I was at a park um, and I was filming a cover. At the t it didn't go up online because there was too much background noise but I was filming a cover of Titanium by David Guetta and Sia and I was at a park for reasons that I don't remember but I was at this park and I had my guitar and I had the camera set up on a tripod and everything and then this guy comes walking by with these two little kids and I the park was totally deserted. It was me, my mom, and my sister and that was it. There was nobody else and this guy walks by poof out of nowhere with these two little kids and he just looked at me like I was crazy and I'm just like, hey. Um, well besides putting on like nice clothes and makeup um, and I don't really do anything with my hair, I just brush it out because it's too short still. Um, I just have to set up my camera and tripod and that's it. So it doesn't really take me that long. I'm wearing pants, as you can see. Ta-da! These are just blue jeans. I think they're, I don't remember the brand, but I got them for Virgo, like, for I am most proud of the fact that I stay true to who I am. I don't try to blo I don't block myself into a box. I don't lock myself in one of the little stereotypical sections, you know, like and I don't let other people do it as well. I don't let them shove me into little categories that they think I should be in. I explore a lot of different facets of myself that I like, you know, writing fan fiction, reading, doing these kind of videos, doing my cover videos. Um, and just being me, and I think that that's really important for a lot of girls, is they just have to be themselves and not worry too much about what society thinks. So, that is definitely what I am most proud of, is the fact that I am st true to myself no matter what has happened. And so, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, Confessions of a Beauty Guru tag. Leave a comment below with your answers if you're a beauty guru, or better yet, leave a video response, because I want to see what, you guys, what your guys' answer is. And I will talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed watching. And, oh, if you want to see me do Vlogmas, I'm going to be plugging this like every time I go on here because I want um, like I want you guys to be able to see me like some like you guys gave me ideas for so if you want to see me do vlogmas go to the bottom bar and I will type in my vlog channel address and you guys can go subscribe to that and I do vlogs actually I'm gonna go film one right now but I'm gonna do vlogs and you guys can see me do vlogmas once December 1st rolls around so yeah but I will talk to you guys later thank you for watching I love you all bye